Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're going to be turning this Tylenol bottle, just this old medicine bottle, some Tylenol for infants, we're going to turn this little bottle into this epic robot. Isn't that cool? This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I do it, building and painting. Let's get into it. So here I'm taking off all of the paper and plastic on the outside. This is kind of tricky, but after a while I got it. Now there's kind of this sticky substance that's still left on it. So by getting that off, I'm just going to use some wet sandpaper and it should come right off. Now that I have this done, it's all nice and smooth, I'm ready to start adding stuff on it. First I cut the top off and sand, kind of sanded it down. I'm going to put this vent into the top. This is going to give it a nice look, but the hole's still a little too small, so I'm going to use this knife and carve it out a little bit bigger. Once I carved it out, here I am gluing it in. Once I glue it in, I'm going to glue this other small little piece onto the top to give it some more flair. And now, just the process of finding pieces that you like and adding them onto it just gives it this awesome look and just makes you really feel good. How turning some junk from nothing into something awesome. Once I found the piece I liked, we're going to use this for the eye. Now here's some EVA foam, I'm just going to cut into some small squares and strips. I'm going to use this as some plate metal. It's going to give it some cool armoring and give it kind of a cool war related backstory. Now here I'm gluing some around the eye and the chest and this just kind of looks like some cool armor. Here, I'm attaching these small pieces from a toy that I just bought from Dollar Store. We're going to put this kind of right in the back and it's going to be kind of like a power pack. Now I cut a hole in with my Dremel. I'm just going to put this in there, dry fit it in, and we're going to take some super glue and just glue it all around the edges and kind of fill in the gaps but also glue it in. And now here after I have that done, I twisted together some wires, and I drilled a hole in that piece we added earlier, and this is just going to give it a cool effect and add some more realism, how the power pack's kind of adding power to the sky. And once I added that, I glued down the other end because it was kind of hanging out too far. It's starting to really look really cool. And now we have rivet time. We just have some little bead rhinestones that I'm putting in some super glue and putting onto the armor. And then, whoa, that one jumped. And now we're just, this is going to give it a nice realism and make it look really cool. After that, it's starting to look really good. And here, I have these two little tank tracks. And these are going to be perfect for the legs. It's going to look super cool and even add some more backstory to this guy. And here I have some wheels that I've been saving. And these are going to work perfect for what I'm going to do. And now I glued those all together. And I found this other piece from a Hot Wheels car that fits perfect right here and this will be the base for the body to connect it to the tracks. And I trimmed it up a little bit and glued it in and it's looking great. Now we're going to glue the top piece onto this and 
Now here I found these two little Gatling guns from an old toy. I'm gonna glue these onto the front to add some weapons to this guy. Once that was done, I found these little, I don't know what they are, but they look really cool. So I'm going to add these onto the side, and this just looks kind of like something some military robot would have. And I found these little chains, and these are going to look great on the side. I'm just going to glue these around to give it some nice texture and realism. After I got that done, it's really starting to look awesome. I got these little wood pegs, I'm going to glue these on, they're going to be like kind of look like little wooden spikes. And now I'm gluing these all around the base just to give it a cool effect, and it really looks like he has some nice armor to protect him. After I added all those, here he is. And I made these two little turret arms that are going to be perfect for the arms. And we're just going to glue them on right there. But then we need a kind of a better surface to glue them on. So I have these little green beads that would work perfect. And now after I have that done, I'm gluing the other arm on. We're about ready to paint. And there we go. Let's prime this bad boy up. After we have it primed, it's looking really cool. Let's get to painting. So here I'm taking this blue, just Vallejo Mata Colors blue, I'm going to put some of this on the palette, and I'm going to use a tweezers and sponge for this. This gives it a really cool weathered effect, and adds really nice texture. I'm just kind of stippling it over all of the main base, and this is going to be used for the whole body. After I finish that, I'm going to take some silver, and this is just the Army Painter's Plate Mail Silver. We're going to use this for the turrets, and just any other metal piece I think will look good. After we finish this, I'm going to stipple some red onto all of the sheets of metal, and this is going to give it a cool look and kind of give it some extra color. And the brush I'm using for this is a special kind of dry brush that you can just order on Amazon. Once I have that done, taking army painters matte black I'm going to go over all the tracks and the wheels and this is gonna make it look somewhat real but also give it just some more nice coloration not really careful with these steps because we can always touch up later. And 
Now once those are done, I painted some of the guns green and black. Now I'm going to take some more black, and I'm going to paint this one shoulder pad right here in the side. Now that we have that done, I'm painting the other shoulder pad yellow. This gives it some nice coloration and looks kind of like it was assembled piece by piece and customized throughout the years. After that has dried, I'm taking some green, and we're going to put this over those little things that I have no idea what they're called. After that's finished, I'm taking the Army Painter's Quick Shade, and this is a oil wash that we're going to put over the whole model. This is going to give it some nice kind of rusty look, and get in all those cracks and crevices and add some weathering to it. And I'm using a bigger, again one of those bigger dry brushes, and this applies it all better to the model. After that's done, I have this kind of mesh, and I thought if I stippled some black paint all around it, it'd kind of give me some checkered pattern. But it didn't work out too well, but it still looks really cool. I applied that same effect with a lighter blue on the body, and it looks really good. Now I'm taking a dry brush, of a lighter kind of tan. And a dry brush is where you take the paint and almost get all of it out of the brush, except for a little bit. And it kind of gets, catches all the highlights and really makes the cracks and crevices pop. And after that, I'm going to take some silver and I'm going to do a dry brush over all of the black parts. This gives the black some more realism and makes it look really cool. Oh, and with the same effect with the mesh, I also applied it with a lighter red on the breastplates and all of the armor panels and with the yellow on the black shoulder pad. Now that we have all that done, it's almost finished. I'm going to take some Paneline accent color, and this is from Tamiya, and I'm using black. This is kind of a smaller wash, it goes in all the cracks and crevices and adds some nice texture. And for all that rust coloring, I just watered down some brown paint and kind of spilled it all around the cracks and the edges, and it kind of looks like rust is dripping out of them. After that, here we go. Here's the finished model. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Comment. I love hearing from you guys. Stay tuned to my channel to see my next videos. And I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you guys all next time.